Our car is a car that makes you smile. It's a car that has some absurdity to it. Hi, I'm Kara Weisenstein, and this is Culture Beat, the Creators Project's bi-weekly roundup of the most awe-inspiring, mind-bending, eye-popping art content we can get our hands on. In this episode, we'll ride fire-spewing mutant vehicles at Burning Man, find out how Brazilian artist duo Os Gemeos was influenced by early hip-hop, and we'll see artist Sarah Mayojas sort thousands of rose petals into her own unique data set. Art cars are vehicles transformed into mobile sculptures. They've been a part of the Burning Man Festival since its inception, and 2016 saw some of the most elaborate versions yet. I, I kind of feel like an outsider, but I feel pretty included here. There's not many places you can get away with this. These are beautiful pieces that should be seen by the world, and now with the mainstream world coming into this, our cars are one of the hottest things in the world right now. This is kind of a steampunk mechanical folk art. This is Phoenix the Dragon of Fire. Uh, my wife and I built it in Colorado from almost 100% recycled materials. This fabric is trampoline fabric. That's the part you jump on. And if you can see the pipes on the face, it's got a flame system. El Popo is the number one art car on the playa and off the playa. He's the Led Zeppelin of art cars. It's able to be viewed from all angles and still feel like it's connecting, looking at you. Also, the tentacles become pilot lights that light up the whole sculpture really well, so it's got its own candelabra effect. But the beauty is it's made out of old junk, so when you have something that breaks, you don't have to do this little polished patch or anything. You can just slap something on there and it adds to the beauty because it's got that kind of style to it. It's a form of art that maybe you're not a polished, knowledgeable artist that went to college and learned all this stuff, but you still want to create, you know, make things. Os Gemeos, or the twins, are Otavio and Gustavo Pandolfo, two Brazilian artists who have been collaborating since birth. Their work is influenced by the arrival of hip-hop culture during their childhood in the 1980s. In the middle of the 80s, when we have the first contact with the hip hop, when they come to Brazil, they will have the first contact with graffiti. We grow up in this, this energy. Yellow is very present in, in our life. We try to find something that people can see and recognize that's our style. Like, for example, we have the stencils that we do in the patterns of the characters. We have the skin line to the outlines. It's more like how we compose our style. We feel that it was very necessary for us to start to work with the environment and create a different atmosphere to make people understand more what we have in our head. And drawings, illustration was not enough. So we have to find something else. This exhibition took us one year, almost, to prepare everything. For us, all this is like a movie. Everything is in our mind. So it's the way we find, to like a frame, one scene of this movie that we had with what we believe and show to you. Sarah Mayoha's art is driven by a fascination with data systems. Her newest piece, Roses at Bell, consists of 10,000 roses being categorized and scanned as a commentary on the uneasy transformation of the natural world into data. We are currently in Homedale, New Jersey at Bell Works, which was previously Bell Labs. It was an amazing research facility. The transistor, the laser were all developed at Bell. This piece is about big data. It's about the affect of big data. It's about our desire to use data to tell us things. It's like a harvest. At each station, there is a light box, which is where the worker places the pedal. There's a camera right above it, and then there's a computer, and they just click, and the photograph gets taken. One petal of every rose, they're setting aside as the most beautiful one, whatever that means to them. The digital data will be analyzed. Then it's going to be about figuring out if there are links, 
between different pictures, between different shapes and colors and sizes, between the decision of what petals were chosen as beautiful, if there's some sort of pattern there. But ultimately, one of the goals would be to be able to create new digital petals. It is a lot about control and power, and archiving has always been about that. So here I'm creating my own digital data set of rose petals, something that's like super romantic, but I'm making it extremely mechanical. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Culture Beat. We'll see you next time for more great arts and culture stories from around the world.